I just want to say I was watching flipping channels when I got in last night, caught the second half of the Knicks in the uh, Heat game, basketball game. I was flipping over to the hockey game, catching the Toronto Maple Leafs and the Florida uh, Panthers play as well. And it, it dawned on me, both of those teams, the, the Toronto Maple Leafs and the New York Knicks are iconic in their own sports. They're the mecca of the sports uh, world in their individual sports. People were packed into uh, – the the the, the uh, social bank arena. Formerly, they were in Maple Leaf Gardens back in my day. The place sells out. They got a 50-year waiting list for tickets. New York Knicks. They got a darn near 50-year waiting list for tickets. You yeah, can't get do. tickets to the New York Knicks. It's hard to get those tickets. They sell out every year. They sell out every game. And both of those teams struggled to make the playoffs. And now they're just now making the playoffs. And they both seem to play. It was weird. It was eerie switching back and forth. And it seemed like. Both teams had the same mentality. They didn't want to lose. They were playing not to lose. They were trying to hold on, and, and they went to overtime in the, in the hockey game between the Maple Leafs and the Panthers. And Toronto just didn't go all out to, to win that game, say, hey, let's win this in the first five minutes of overtime. They, Austin Matthews tied the game up, took it to overtime. You thought Toronto was going to win it, and then all of a sudden it got later in the overtime. Watch out. Bam. Panthers win it. Then I turn, flip back over to the basketball game. I see Brunson Lord. with 14 seconds with the ball. He gets double team. Man, kick the ball back out to you. Somebody should have been waiting at the point. Instead, he throws it into the paint. Bam, it gets knocked away. The Heat gets the ball. And bam, there, all she wrote. Both of those, the Toronto Maple Leafs and the New York Knicks, to me, they're on a, they're on a very eerie collision course. Very rich and dedicated franchises, but they just – just can't get over the hump. They've been they've been sitting idle, sitting pat for so long. Now they finally trying to win and put more players on the ice and on the basketball court. But both of those teams last night, I felt played not to play not to lose instead of playing to win. And they both are now sitting on the sidelines because of just how they played uh, the game last night. And also, they're just not one game. They're obviously the entire series. A Toronto went down 0-3. I mean, how you lose the first two games at home for one thing? That's yeah, you know, that's a whole nother bag. But you get yeah. both of those iconic yeah. franchises went out just the way, uh, pretty much identical for 